What's up YouTube, I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know me in the real world, and today I'm bringing you a brand new gameplay. It's a blitz game on the map Freight, and it's actually from the Clan vs. Clan playlist again, another competitive uh, gameplay for you guys. And I cut out the first part because I only had like a 2KD, and this last part is really really good. Um, I only die like one time in the rest of this video and I wind up getting close to 30 kills or something like that so it's a pretty pretty good gameplay that I'm bringing you guys but anyway the main topic of today is going to be some tips and tricks mainly for competitive uh, players but some of it can be applied to public match players as well so jumping right into it I think the number one thing that you guys need to take away from this is that you need to be able to have a good relationship with your teammates I'm not talking about just you know a teammate relationship you need to be friends with them you need they need to be your best friends basically um, my teammates right now are probably better friends than anybody I know in real life which is kind of nerdy sounding but I mean that's literally what you need if you want to be able to work together well and have that kind of chemistry chemistry is the most important thing for a competitive team you have to have it to be able to succeed and by developing these relationships you'll know each other so well that you'll start to know exactly what they're gonna do how they're gonna move around the map and you can just automatically adapt to what they're doing and I, I think that's just the most important thing um, next thing is and the rest of these aren't really in any particular order because it's hard to really rank them in order of importance but the next thing would probably be sensitivity um, and this is talking about controller sensitivity um, for competitive in this game I would have your sensitivity anywhere between 3 and 5 and the reason for this is because you need to be able to control your aim better you need to be able to keep it on target and a lot of if, if any of you are public match players you may be wondering what are you talking about you're supposed to bump it up um, with competitive it really does make a difference you have to have that low sensitivity I mean generally if you're an AR player it would be even lower I, I would say for an AR you'd want to be a 3 maybe a four and then submachine gun would be a four maybe a five uh it's just depending on the long range gunfights versus the closer range you just have to be able to control where your gun is going the next thing is uh your controller layout should probably be on tactical and the reason for this is drop shotting is pretty good in this game um i'd say it's pr kind of equal with jump shotting some people would say it's better I don't know infinity ward is known for drop shotting being better than jump shotting so I mean it's still personal preference but by having it on tactical you can just press in your joystick your right joystick and it'll just drop you straight down you don't have to you know press any buttons or anything take your control hand your thumb off of your joystick or anything so I think that works a lot better for most people um the next thing is of course I was talking a little bit about this drop shotting over jump shotting um, generally in this game you want to probably drop shot over jump shotting I still do both um, I do a lot of jump shotting because that was what was better in black ops 2 and it's taken me a while to get out of that habit but you know drop shotting is better and because of this you don't necessarily have to have a scuff especially since um, marksman rifles are banned in competitive this means that you don't have to uh, have a trigger finger at all <laughs> um, so you don't need the the trigger stops in the in a scuff controller or anything like that and you don't need really the extra buttons I mean they're nice and if you can afford a scuff and you have the money I would still get it but you don't necessarily have to have them the next thing is I would um, if you have a little bit of money these only cost like 10 bucks I would go buy some control freaks you can go online for them uh, they are little things that you put on the, their extensions for your uh, joysticks and they really do help improve your aim I was skeptical at first but I've had them for over a year now um, one thing that should be noted is that some are better than others um, the CQC's I thought were really good at first but they they tend to come apart fairly easily so I would stay away from them the others that I've tried um, have worked so far I currently use the elites uh, they were black ops 2 exclusive ones and they they work really well they haven't broken yet I've had them for like I don't know since they came out like the first week that they came out with it that's when I ordered them so I don't know how long ago that was but it was several months um, let's see we're starting to run a little bit low on time here but 
I'll go as far as I can and I'll probably make several more episodes with some tips and tricks as we go but uh, next thing is probably don't forget about the slide slide and lean feature in this game um, these are new to the game and right now a lot of people are forgetting to use them I forget to use them sometimes sliding into the blitz objective is very important it can make or break whether you score or not um, and leaning you know can help set you up better on those head glitches people aren't necessarily expecting you to do these things I, I do see a lot of people that are using it but there are a lot that aren't so just beware that you should be taking full advantage of these features um and that is pretty much all we're gonna have time for in this video so as you guys can see we are coming to the end of this video if you enjoyed it then please like comment and or subscribe if you didn't then let me know what I can do better in the comment section below constructive criticism goes a long way guys until next time everybody peace out